All right, chat. It is time for our very next run. We have Bullets with Cranked Up with the category The Floor is Lava. Let's bring it on over. So take it away, Bullets. How's it going, everyone? Hope everyone's having a, a nice morning so far. I've been up for way too long, so I am excited to do this run and show this off. This is Cranked Up. This is a physics-based platformer by B Black Studio, so it's going to be a great time. I know probably a lot of you are not super aware of this game, but I think we will all have a, a great time with it. Actually, before I go off the screen, we do have a donation incentive for this game to choose which of these uh, donut characters we'll be playing as. There's a whole bunch of them. Put four of them up, so uh, Amber, do you know which one of the four uh, ended up winning out of the bunch? It looks like Narwhal, Narwhal won with $354. <laughs> I promise I am very good at pressing buttons and my mute button is very responsive. No, it's fine. No, it was just a lot of dramatic timing. I'm sure there was a drum roll happening on stream. <laughs> it was just very quiet. Uh, we actually have two different kinds of Narwhals. This one's got a rainbow horn, so we're obviously picking this one. Easy choice. Yes. Um, but yeah, so thank you all for donating for that. Very generous. Thank you all for, for helping out with that. I appreciate that. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna get start. Oops, I forgot to ooh, <laughs> I forgot to go back to the uh, first level for each of these. All right, so this is Flora's Lava. We'll get right into this in three, two, one, go. All right, so Flora's Lava is the harder version of this game, where the floor is lava. So the definition of floor in this game does vary sometimes, but the the red like Cheeto dust or the red orange Cheeto dust looking area. That is what we do. We don't want to step on or roll on. I guess we don't have feet, but uh, as you can see, game is mostly about rolling through these different obstacles, keeping our momentum up by chaining jumps together and maintaining our speed and, and getting some speed from, from chaining those jumps together. We have these spring boxes you can bounce off of as well. Uh, this game's broken up in two different areas. We have the city area with 20 levels and we also have the uh, western sort of desert area afterwards, it's also 20 levels. So as we go through, it's gonna get progressively more difficult. Uh, on top of the levels already being difficult because of the floor's lava um, mode that we're going, you can use these little ramps uh, or like kind of slanted edges of things to get some boosts off of um, to make these gaps. Um, it is actually possible to jump off of the lava. I know the entire mode is floor's lava and if you get the lava, you have to restart the level, but there are cases where if you're really close to the lava, if you jump right as you are skimming uh, on top of the lava, you can hit a jump before it kind of detects that you hit the lava. So hopefully we won't have to do that. We don't plan to do that. But if we get in a bit of a sketchy situation, we might have to uh, pull it out to try to, to save a level and save us some time. Uh, we're gonna use this, oop, that tree branch right there is very hard to see <laughs> through it. So we're gonna try to use this tree branch to chain through there. You can actually like, oh, Tree branch may have been patched out uh, before I started the run. Let's see. There it is. Okay, cool. So you can go through this level and just channel these jumps together. You see that soccer ball there? There's a few soccer balls in this game. We already saw one that we used to go through the level, but the soccer balls can really get in your way. If you hit them, you just like lose all your speed. <laughs> so there's definitely cases where you're just zooming through the level and then you hit the soccer ball and the donut just kind of ceases to, to go fast. So we are in the second half of the city area. So this is actually like the proper city area. That was more of like a little introductory neighborhood now. Um, yeah, just making our way through the section. Each of these levels, I thought really explained kind of some of the more basic stuff they got at the game, but a little obvious. It's just trying to get to the mug of coffee at the end, since we are a donut shaped animal. That is our end goal in life. And every single time the the mug keeps getting stolen away from us, so just making our way through. We have these electric fences. Thankfully, this side does not have uh, the zappy part of it, so we can bounce off of it and get some speed. Um, this level, like I was saying before, this is the soccer ball. <laughs> if you get there the wrong time, and you will just bounce right into it and fall to your death. The, the traffic cones there can be, or traffic cones in general, um, can be a little bit sketchy with uh, 
trying to chain jumps on them because if you hit them the wrong way, since it's just a small platform, you can go from going pretty fast to just kind of bouncing straight up in the air. So a lot of this game's about kind of getting to know the different uh, hitboxes of things. Like the hitbox for that uh, kills you. So <laughs> we're about to do it again. <laughs> <laughs> um, just getting away through here. There's actually a little skip you can do there by chaining off of that um, traffic cone instead of going the lower route there. Um, but yeah, we're almost all the way through City. We have a few harder levels here. The ending few levels for City are really difficult. This one, you can kind of keep your speed the entire time, uh, but that last jump at the end where you have to get rid of all your speed um, can be a little bit sketchy. Ooh, let's get up. Uh, there we go. <laughs> Uh, um, this game does have actually a challenge mode in it as well, which uh, normally, so if I want to go forward, I just hold right trigger, and if I want to go backwards, or left trigger, and if I want to do like an air brake, I press both of them. Uh, there's a challenge mode where you control the individual rockets with your uh, triggers, so the red rocket is uh, right trigger, and then the purple one is left trigger. So as you're rotating, you have to switch which trigger you're pressing and kind of cycle between them. So that is really challenging and hurts your brain to do, so we're doing we're still doing a very challenging run, but you know, if you are curious and want to give it a go, definitely. Uh, I've completed all the levels with the challenge mode, but it is a challenge. <laughs> um, so we have the last level for City, which you really need to get like a specific start to this. You'll see, I'm like trying to get a jump right at, as I am skimming off the edge of the car. There, it's not quite what we want. Um, we are being chased this entire time, and the pizza is chasing us. Uh, rubber bands a whole bunch, so if we go really fast and have to stop, uh, it catches up to us extremely quickly, especially at this ambulance where we kind of hit off the side of it. But thankfully, it took a few tries to, to get the right start we were looking for there, but we were able to, to get through it. That's one of the, I'd say it's one of like the top three hardest levels, so it's good that we made it through there without too much pain. But now we are on to the second half of the run, all these uh, western levels. Um, while we're going through these first, ooh, jeez, <laughs> I don't think we can, oh, okay, well, we barely made it. Uh, while we're going through these first couple levels, this might be a good time to sneak in a couple donations before we get to the, the next part of the run. I would love to, as we're just over $5,400 for that uh, Discworld incentive. Uh, we had $25 coming in from Wolfitz saying, that pupper deserves a bone, and t <laughs> another $25 from Introvert, uh, introverted Ace saying, let's give a dog a bone. Seriously, get those donos in. We are on, on the fast track to meeting that incentive. We're just over halfway. Very awesome. Yes, please keep donating to that. It is a very important, very vital incentive that we must meet. So please make sure to, to donate towards that. Thank you all for your generosity so far. Very appreciate it. Thank you everyone for hanging out. The, the early indie block and, and awful block and stuff like that. Like. We all appreciate it. We all we all enjoy our games quite a bit and love getting to showcase them all. So anyways, we are seventh level for Western here. We got this saw blade cycles here, and you have to keep your speed for this entire way. Uh, if you get too much speed, you just end up kind of catapulting the cactuses, and if you lose your speed, it's really hard to, to pick up enough speed to clear those cactuses as well. So it's, it's kind of a balancing act there of not trying to skip too many platforms, but making our way through. Um, Oops, there we go. Sometimes you catch on edges a little bit, and it depends how the game's feeling, if you're going to pop yourself up by jumping off the side of it, or uh, if it uh, makes you slowly and tragically roll down as we're going. Uh, the next level after this is kind of an interesting one. Uh, it's like a Plinko sort of level where you have all these different uh, barrels to jump off of, and really you can do this entire thing without touching any of the platforms after the beginning. Uh, if you do it correctly, I'm gonna try to do. The platforms are kind of there for a little bit of extra safety and be able to to go through it. If you can just bounce between those, the last uh, barrel, if you hit it the wrong way, you can actually like uh, you go inside the barrel a little bit and hit that saw blade as it's going by, uh, which can be really tragic when that happens. There we go, cool. There's a couple of routes for that level. You can either the top one or the bottom one, but the bottom one's a little bit faster, so we do that. Uh, this. There we go. A little bit scary. Um, the final sort of, the, the both these areas have kind of a final blitz of like tougher levels as we're going, or yeah, tougher tougher sections as we're we're going through. So, um, 
kind of starting here with that jump there where you have to barely jump off like the side of that as you clear it. But we have this level, which is very difficult where you hold forwards and then you mess it up anyway. <laughs> In the middle of talking about the level being easier than uh, accidentally did not hit the box in the right way. So that's a cactus, cactus is hurt. Uh, <laughs> let's keep going through this. Um, one thing I haven't mentioned is there's these little sugar bottles you'll see everywhere. Those are just used for unlocking new uh, new characters like the one we're playing as right now. So uh, they're all grayed out because I've already collected them. So we have this level 16 here, which is really sketchy because of all the cactuses everywhere. There we go. <laughs> Yeah, the, the, any of these levels where there's kind of like these lower ceilings, even without the cactus, they're really tough because bumping on the ceiling and kind of losing all your momentum is is an uh, easy way to to fall into the lava. So focus here for just a moment. There we go. Okay, so we should be in the clear. I say that, hopefully not jinxing myself, but the rest of the level is just a couple jumps. So here we go. All right, Western 17, we have a fun little skip here with the spring box. Instead of going to the left, you can just barely make it up there and then get a jump off this wall and make it in. Kind of a bit of a blind jump, hoping to, to land there a little bit and feeling out the speed. This level, it's hard to maintain your speed for it as we're getting kind of closer to the end of the run. It's difficult to, to chain these jumps together since there's all these rails in the way and then the rail at the end is, can very commonly uh, lose all your speed because you can get stuck on the, the rail if you hit it in the wrong way. Again, we have another another level with the, the low ceiling again. There we go. <laughs> As we're going through, and then the last three obstacles where you have to jump with these very thin tops of these walls. But after this, we have the final level of the game and the awesome boss music that we heard before. Um, but this is this is the final level. This is an auto-scroller as we're going through, though it's not definitely not a gimme at all. Um, but I will use this time to just say thank you to B Black Studio, who are the developers for this game, for making this and being very supportive of the speedrunning community. Um, like I said before, thank you all for for hanging out, kind of in the the early early morning block of things. A lot of really cool games. Uh, so I appreciate y'all. Or I guess it's not early morning for everybody. I guess time zones do exist. But yeah, as, as we're going through this auto scroll, we're just avoiding these saws coming through. Uh, if we do die, we do have to go to the very beginning of it. It's about a minute long, so. Um, but other than that, uh, I don't have too many shout outs beyond that, except uh, we have a lot of cool runs coming up. Um, a few that I would suggest is Yinglet and Wavebreak. Uh, on Friday, um, Donut County as well. A lot of cool stuff. So check all that out. Thank you all for watching Cranked Up. Uh, thanks for having me. Hope to see you all sometime in the near future. And have a wonderful rest of the marathon. <laughs>
And Lucy2005 rules, donates $10 and says, I am loving the awful block. Get Getting two tickets for the donation train. The Discworld books hold a special place in my heart, so I must see the dog get a bone. And Nux Tenma purchasing four tickets with $20 saying, hold up, there's a doggo incentive coming up? Four tickets to the $5 train to get that met, please. We're at 5,900. We are trucking right along with that train. And let's keep going with $50 from Dr. Onion House, who says, take my money. We most certainly will. We will bring it right on over to the PCF, the Prevent Cancer Foundation, a wonderful cause. $50 from Serene Source, who says, I'm going to see if I can surprise my wife with a message in GDQ. Hi, Chelsea. I love you. That is very, very sweet. And hopefully Chelsea gets to hear that. Skippy the Magnificent 421 donates $250 saying good luck to all involved with the marathon and thank you for what you do. And thank you for that generous donation. 